welcome back to Magic Rising uh, for some more plant magic. So today we have an issue. My Draciana, Dracana, Draciana lemon lime plant. Ugh, it does not look healthy, right? Like there's something wrong right here with this one. So what I'm gonna do today is actually create a new soil medium and repot this and I'm gonna separate them. That way like if there is a problem with one versus the other, one has a chance to heal, the other has a chance to prosper and not catch any kind of weird bacteria root rot thing. And then we have our soil mixture we're gonna make today. Uh, cocoa core is a good one to use and they say use 60% cocoa core then use 40% of like other stuff right so like the aeration stuff I couldn't get access to any kind of pumice so I used perlite for this and the lighting might not let you see but basically it's that tiny the small white stuff you see in most of the packaging like potting mixes you might buy at like HEB or Home Depot or Lowe's the final part is making sure that it has nutrients very important. So worm castings is a thing. So I bought a bag of worm castings as well. Um, it just basically looks dark and wonderful and to the plants delicious. Um, it doesn't smell bad or anything. I thought it would, uh, but it's the nutrient part. Basically it's like worm poop. It's like worms going through all this stuff and then pooping out the nutrients for the plants. So worm castings. So here's the, oh, we don't want to get it in our, this is going to be for our actual potting mix. So we don't want to contaminate that just because I don't want any possibility for, well, that's weird. Okay. So this came off. There's still a, a ton of soil at the bottom, which is not good. It might actually lend to why there might be root rot is because it was too much soil for the plants. Um, again, I'm going to plant them separately just because I'm too worried that if they're together, it might do worse. But these types of plants, Draciana, Draciana, they look way better when they're planted with twos uh, just because of the way their leaves fall. But I'm not willing to, to risk the health of one for the health of the other. You can even see the one on the left right here, like the leaves are all kind of pointing up. And then the one on the right, they're all down. Like these are the ones that are down or the one on the right. Okay, so let's put these babies back and get to mixing. All right, 60% cocoa core. So I'm just gonna add all of it to the pot. So we got the cocoa core in there and now we wanna mix 40%, which honestly, the way it was packed in might be the rest of this perlite, but oh, there's powder with that. Cautious, be cautious. So got some perlite in there. Yeah, let's mix all of it, okay. And then we want our worm castings because they need to eat. Uh, uh, why not? Okay. Okay. So we're doing this today. Okay. Uh, and then literally it's just mixing it. So now I'm thinking whenever I see actual commercial potting mix, um, and I see that beautiful blackish brownish color, uh, with a perlite mixed into it and everything or pumice, if you can find it, um, that's what this is. Like it looks like a beautiful rich color, but unlike miracle Grow and the other stuff that I've been using, although that's perfectly fine, this is just so much more, it's so fluffy and I can tell there's no, I mean, there's no chemicals in it because all I used is literally those three ingredients. Feels amazing, it looks amazing. I'm really excited to see what, what comes of this. So now we actually do uh, the planting. I'm gonna try to slowly and carefully break the soil off of this. This is all we had. Oh, okay, now I can understand why they weren't growing as fast. There, there are not a lot of roots on this. Okay, there we go. So we have our healthy one and we have our one that needs a little bit of TLC. So basically fill up your container um, to where the roots are going to be where you want them to be. Make a little hole. Okay, um, so this is planted um, and of course we need to water this in, but let's go ahead and get the other one planted as well. Okay, I decided to go with something a lot smaller uh, than the other one, uh, just because I feel like it needs some time to heal. I mean, it it doesn't look good, it, it doesn't. So we're gonna use this small one right here. Like it.
Okay, <laughs> so this is this poor little baby. I just figured it might, it would let the roots like wick up moisture faster and get rid of it faster. Um, and I'll pay extra special attention to it. I don't know if this is gonna work, but you know, we're gonna try. Um, I just wanna give this some time and attention that it needs to heal. Okay, so that's our lemon lime Dressiana Dragana plants. And uh, yeah, water these in in a little bit and then we'll be good to go. Thanks for joining Plant Magic today for a little bit of a uh, healing and rearrangement and re transplanting, but we will see you next time. potting mix left.